My name is Kate Silvern. I'm the owner of Rocky Mountain Elder Law and I'm delighted to be a nominee by the West Chamber of Commerce. I started practicing law over 20 years ago, but I opened my own firm in 2019. I practice elder law, which covers a myriad of subject areas, practice areas, but for me, um, I do a fair amount of estate planning. I do probate litigation, probate administration, guardianships and conservatorships, and unfortunately, um, I do a fair amount of financial exploitation of elderly people. We've practiced all the protocols very diligently. I feel it really important when doing estate planning that we have the signers here. I make it known that I'm not just here as a lawyer, I'm here as a human being hoping to come alongside people and educate them about end-of-life decision making. And those are probably some of the most difficult decisions people will make in their lives. Hi, my name is Ivy and this is John. We're from Kickin' Chicken. And thank you for the nomination. So we started this project November of 2019. Um, our the project was projected to open March of 2020. However, with the pandemic, we didn't actually open our doors until July of 2020. Our family has been in the restaurant industry since we were younger kids. We just wanted to put a twist on something very familiar to most people, fried chicken, and just kind of keeping the menu simple. So definitely a lot of challenges, not only us, but many businesses are facing. One is staffing. I think that that is such a hit on many surrounding businesses to supply chain, um, the inconsistency that we're observing every day, and the uh, rise of food costs. The people of Lakewood are extremely nice and extremely supportive. Well, the city of Lakewood themselves have been very resourceful to, to us as well, making sure that we're well taken care of uh, to be able to better serve the community. Thank you again for the nomination. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> My name is Lisa Vega Fields. And on behalf of Servicios de la Raza, I would like to thank the West Metro Chamber for nominating us for the Minority Business Owned Award. It was founded in 1972 by 12 activists here in the Denver metro area with the mission of providing culturally responsive, essential human services and opportunities specifically for the Latino community. I would like to commend our executive director, Rudy Gonzalez, because of his leadership. The staff here, what I've observed at Servicios has been resilient and steadfast in continuing to meet the needs of our underserved communities during the pandemic. And most specifically, uh, the low vaccination rate. And over the last year, we provided 10,000 COVID tests vaccinations and boosters across the entire state of Colorado. I feel that because we're culturally responsive and a bilingual organization, we have become a trusted organization you know, for the Latino community and not just Latino, but the underserved community in general.